one of these instruments is used in the Los Angeles area now in research. The digital control on the right, <coughs> lower right, is for getting back to precision locations, up and down, uh, vertical locations, so that slides can be put in and out and focused very rapidly. Here we go. Okay. This shows the projection microscope with a test uh, lens in the center of it, which can see the <coughs> filament of the light and bring the entire system into focus for projection to a screen 10 foot away. This is a patent drawing, which is upside down, of the microscope, one of the first projection microscopes built, which shows the various optical projection systems. This is an external view of the projection microscope outside on the sidewalk. This is a patent drawing of the projection microscope showing the Risley prism to the left side which can focus in the different colors of, of light so that the viruses can be stained in their own characteristic chemical resonant colors the internal view of the microscope and the patented rife lamp below is shown to bring the system up to the top where a movie camera or a, a uh, other projection system can be used to enlarge the images up to 200,000 times. The eyepiece shown there is can be looking can be looking into the image and also see it or it can be seen on a ground glass which covers the top of the instrument which eliminates empty magnification. This means that everything that's projected up can be seen on the view plate. This is an external view of the first uh, projection microscope, which is now in use here in San Diego by an MD for his own private research. <clears throat> this is a front view of the instrument showing the dial on the left hand side which operates two twin jack screws that move the microscope up and down to bring the object into focus. This is a rear view of the same instrument showing the, the uh, belt that's uh, connecting the two jack screws. Now this is a test set up on the Leeds optical bench showing the, uh, the optical system which can be projected to test out the various optical components. And this is another external view of the projection microscope with a six inch barrel which has locations at the top of the barrel for three eyepieces or a camera which can be inserted and the images reviewed or seen. Uh, this is a Another patent drawing showing the optical path of the uh, 
light from the base to the top, which is projected on up by the condenser lenses, the optical uh, oculars, and the, the eyepieces, or projected on out with a special mirror which goes to a screen 10 foot away. It could also go to a television camera which would increase the power another 10,000 times. This is a picture again of the <coughs> Rife Research virus microscope for to see the cancer virus, TB virus, and many other viruses which Rife recorded in my book called Electron Therapy, which is available for for sale in uh, polarity in the polarity research manual. Uh, this instrument was designed for uh, controlling bacteria in oil and gasoline, in which the U.S. government had about $300 million in storage tanks in several places around the world, which had to be replaced every three months. Now, this instrument could kill the bacteria in the fuel so that the replacement would be, not be necessary. President Nixon reviewed this system and decided for the oil companies that there would never be anything like this ever allowed to be used. So the citizens of this United States could keep on paying $300 million every quarter. And uh, further details of this will be shown in this next slide, which shows a screen, a stainless steel screen inside of a plastic tube in which the electrodes were placed in the screen, one in the center of it and one on the outside of it so that anything passing through that area would be devitalized. Now this, this instrument could go up to 100 volts but uh, only 4 or 5 volts was necessary. The, the fluid that came from the, from the storage tanks was pumped through this devitalizer and on back into the storage tanks again. Another uh, setup was made to kill the viruses and, and bacteria in chickens. Uh, this was made for the U.S. Department of Agriculture uh, secretary Butts was the principal secretary at the time, and his uh, research lab was over in uh, March Field near Riverside, California. And uh, th these, uh, s the system was set up to be used inside the chicken cages. They just slid in, and the wires that you see were made of aluminum. The frequency instrument was in the background to generate frequencies which would be lethal to the viruses that the chickens were being affected with from living in unhealthy conditions. Upon uh, delivery of this unit to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, they immediately saw that it was electronic and uh, after being apprised of that fact, they, they, did, they refused to allow any research to be done because they were working with drugs only on instructions from Secretary Butts. And uh, all of this work in preparing this uh, experiment was in vain by John Crane. The chickens destroyed were destroyed at the rate of about 25,000 a month because of this virus condition. Oh, yeah. That's it. All right.